and in today's video of TICE, we're going to be learning about hues satura and saturation, brightness slash contrast. So, first, before you do any of that, you need to either grab your quick select, your lasso, your magnetic lasso, your choice, or your polygonal lasso. Sorry, I'm not good at pronunciation. pronunciation. Okay, so, first thing you want to do is select your thing. We're going to be selecting this apple. Luckily, quick select it. And if you accidentally get a part that you don't want, like let's say this, we don't want this little leaf, but we do want the rest of the apple. Go, you can kind of do that. There we go. So we have now selected our apple. So once you've selected your apple, you can go to image, adjustments, and let us do hue slash saturation first. So. You can do any of this you want, you can change it like this, and see, you get all of these super cool colors, and it happens to blend in pretty well, too. So, as you can have fun with this, we can have a yellow apple if we wanted. Like, that doesn't look like a yellow apple. And like, I mean, that does look like a yellow apple, but it says you in the blue, yes. And if we go to the yellow, I mean the blue. I know, kind of weird. That's why we're going to not do that. But if you want to, you can also change the saturation, which kind of takes away its color. Kind of drains it, you know. Or you can give it even more, which gives it color. <laughs> but we're not going to be worrying about that. Or you can also lighten it. Don't go too far, otherwise. I mean, like, well, that looks kind of cool, but it doesn't look like what I wanted it to, maybe. But anyways, sorry. I like playing with this is like my favorite thing here. So let's give it a... What should we be worrying about this right now? Let's give it a darker color. So a darker color would be purple, so... There we go. Or blue, purple, and let's take away. Oh no, actually, let's leave it on right there. Let's darken it a little bit, and now we have a dark purple apple. Cool, but we're gonna colorize, which lets you adjust it a little bit more how you want, and it really actually depends more. But let's go back to 50, or oh, close enough. Zero and this right now. See, when you first color it's probably gonna be this color. Let's look, see, we can have a actual red apple. But we are going to do what I like to call the golden apple. So, if you want to, you can saturate it, give it more color, make it a silver apple. Really, it's up to you. Do that. And we now have our golden apple. And all this stuff. And if I'm correct, which I'm probably not. Nope, I'm not. Okay. Anyways, you can save the preset if you want, and you can also load the preset once it's saved. I'm going to save this preset, and I will guess I would in pictures make a new photo for call it image presets. You can call it whatever you want, but I'm going to call mine image presets, and then I'm going to save it. As under, oh, just that because I can't save it under all images. When you are downloading an image, it's probably best to save it under all images and not under a specific thing, unless you want to. So we've done that. Hit OK. We're going to uh, deselect it. And now we have our cool golden apple. Now we have this little part here that's kind of messed up, but you got to be pretty specific if you don't want to get like that. So we're gonna zoom, 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 zoom in. This is a pretty big image, so it should be a while before the pixels. There we go. The pixels seem to have shown up. I'm actually going to use my lasso for this. Maybe my magnetic lasso. It's not high not. Magnetic lasso. Okay, let's actually redo that. Let's move around here. And once you have selected maybe the little part that you seem to have messed up. I'm trying to get this. And you don't actually need to hold it down if you want. But there you go. Once you've selected your little area, you can go to image again. Sorry, we're doing this again. Human saturation. Hit colorize. Go to 
two. Hmm. It's not always, it's kind of hard to get your puppet color sometimes, not gonna lie. So, instead of doing that, we are going to do this. We're gonna grab our little eyedropper. And we're just gonna have to make it not look as nice as we were hoping for, but it should still look okay. Let's just kind of get around it, because this is most of what it's gonna end up looking like. And you don't have to do that many times as I did, I just felt like, ooh, you might want to select a thing that actually is meant for it too. Yeah, for coloring, not what I was doing. Oop. Once we do that, you can kind of just fill it in. And it only selects this area, so even if you do this, it's not going to look all weird. Now, it doesn't look as nice as you probably wanted it to, but it's just to make it look a little bit nicer. So, you're like, oh man, I don't like how that looks. Well, you can always make this a lot smaller. And kind of adjust it how you want. So I guess it's taking so long. And well, you can always have that Z tool if you need to fix it to something. And you're like, oh, well, you know, it probably doesn't look very nice. And you might, know, it doesn't. But at least it blends in a little more. And we're gonna even go even farther detail on this. So here's what you can do if you want to make it look a little bit nicer. You're going to get the, not the shopping tool, and get the blow. If I can flip, luckily, it's not a good size. I'm going to kind of mix it in, you see? That's what the blow tool is for. Making stuff look pretty. There we go. Now, if you want, you can uh, get your band aid tool. Maybe shrink that down a little bit too. Careful though. Probably could have just done this in the first place if you really wanted to. So. But sometimes it doesn't always work. So we're just going to adjust it how we need. So you like, okay, now it looks a little bit better, right? And you think you've done decent, but you still don't like how it looks, okay? I realize I said hue. And don't worry, I'm gonna show you the uh, color and stuff in a second. First, let us get our. Let's sharpen it a little. Ooh, wow, okay. Let me sharpen it. Don't sharpen it too much because it might not look great. If you do, you can, if you want, get the dodge tool. But remember that brightens it, so be very careful. Not like I was, obviously. Ooh. Yeah, but it really depends on which your image is, if you want to do that or not. So, I'm not going to do that, because obviously we can tell. Well, boy, instead I'm going to use the burn tool. And then after that, we burn it a little bit. Now we're going to try and fix it. I am never been great at images, but I can change color, so, yeah. plus. Maybe it's a rotting apple, I don't know. <laughs> Let's try the dodge tool. Okay, I've decided this is not gonna work for us. So, maybe you should just, see? Let's find that way, alright? So, we are going to hit this, we're going to hit 4 on screen, and we've done this. Well, obviously this does not blend in, so we are going to do the quick select, and you can select it if you want, and then, quite simply, go here, do this, brightness, contrast, makes it look a little bit nicer. Since we do not have much time left in this video, I'm going to have to say goodbye, sadly. Thank you for watching this TIC video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.